Hello YouTube, this is GameSotix here and welcome back again to another Total War Warhammer gameplay. This time I'm gonna try to mix things up and use the auto select for the custom battle. I'm gonna be using the green skins and I'm gonna play against the Chaos Army here. So what I've done here is uh, clicked on the auto select for the teams um, to mix it up and make it, make it interesting. So let's see what happens in this battle. So the fun thing about this is you'll never know what you get. Um, the only problem I've seen uh, sometimes is that the teams are not balanced that well. The AI just does not pick um, balanced army uh, for both sides. Some, sometimes it's me who gets the good team, sometimes the enemy gets the better team. So um, that's the only issue here. Actually, this is good practice to do once in every while, um, not knowing what army you get and the composition and dealing with what you get um, is helpful. It'll make you um, decide better in battles and, you know, uh, deal with situations. So I suggest you try this every once in a while. It's also fun. So I'm just setting up my army here. I've noticed I've got a lot of missile infantry, um, uh, some of them just regular infantry and others having the wolves and so I'm gonna try and use that to my advantage here. And I'll take a look on the enemy composition in just a bit as soon as I'm done with mine. That's good enough. Let's start the battle. So I'm gonna try and harass them from the beginning. Use my missile infantry. Since um, the AI sometimes in custom battles does not attack and just waits for some reason. So I need to move my army and attack myself, unless they're provoked somehow, um, usually they just sit back. So that's something um, that maybe needs to be fixed in the next patch or take a look at at least. So let's take a quick look at the enemy composition. You can see some missile cavalry, um, shock cavalry, the monster, chaos uh, warbounds and some other units there, siege artillery. So they've got a um, very small unit composition. Um, I don't know how the AI decided to give them those picks but it's auto generated so they've used up all the coins and that's what they got. I'm also recording here during the battle. Usually what I do is wait until the battle is over and look at the replay and you know record then but this time it's live. Uh, I'm just gonna give this a try. See if it's more fun. If you guys like it more, I'll continue like this. Also, I'm not used to playing the green skins. Usually, my favorite factions are the Empire and Wolves. Um, those uh, monster factions, I'm not a very big fan of. I want to just mix things up and, you know, try every faction possible. Um, still you can see the enemy AI is just sitting back. I'm not sure what tactic they're trying to do. Maybe a defensive stance, uh, maybe just waiting until I get closer. But usually what I do is try to provoke them um, with my you know, cavalry units. Let them change the formation while bringing the large army closer. I also want to thank you guys for the support and watching the videos. Um, I'm getting close to 200 subscribers, which is uh, amazing. Thank you guys. Uh, in just a couple of, couple of months, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna keep and try um, uploading videos every day if possible, every other day. Um, so that's about that. So 
I think my army is close enough now. I'm just gonna maybe push them a bit further. Uh, one thing I actually don't like about this um, movement here is that some of my units are in the forest, which just obstructs my view. I was talking about micromanagement in my previous video and what I like about real-time strategy games is that um, the human error factor is part of the game that I like much better than turn-based games where you pause the game, put an order and um, I know that's a bit tactical but I just like the human error factor in Total War Warhammer online games. I need to get my monster in there, the fight. Uh, it's getting messy right now. See, as I told you before, units fighting in the forest. Um, not sure what's going on in there. I know there's a fight going on, but I just can't see it. have a quiet moment sometimes when I'm just micromanaging and not thinking about commentating. Also you won't get those close-up shots, uh, some nice shots here and there while I move the camera. So that's the only disadvantage I guess. So far the fight is balanced. Um, I'm doing a bit better than they are. I just need to send some cavalry to deal with their artillery, which is doing us some damage. Ah, too bad our lord is already wavering. But he's gonna come back though. He just got half his health already. So he'll come back. I'm not worried about him. And regarding the new DLC, the Beastman, I haven't got a chance to buy it yet or play it. I just want your guys' thoughts about it. Is it a good DLC? What's the good things about it? So the battle looks almost over here and although they've put a good fight but sometimes numbers do actually win on um, smaller number armies even if they got the quality this was actually fun and refreshing what do you guys think i should choose for the faction for the next fight So the battle is over here, it's a victory. Thanks for watching, this is Game Sotics, and hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you like it.